we good. That thing on. Ain't nobody up. Oh, y'all are up. All right, we're not doing comments tonight, dog. I don't got time for all that. Cool. Hello. Welcome. Um, dang, 200 people up right now. Y'all don't got school in the morning. What's today, Tuesday, technically? Hello. How are you? I'm here to answer some questions. Wait, let's see who wants to go live. First of all. Um, welcome. Some questions that I are am asked all the time, dog. All the time. Well, first of all, a lot of y'all are asking, like, what am I doing, like, with my life? Are you still in Kentucky? I am not in Kentucky. <laughs> I feel like that's self-explanatory. Um, nah, but online classes at Kentucky right now. And, you know, until I move and figure all that stuff out moving to california it's a big move i wanted to make this move my whole life and it's finally happening so that's like legit crazy um yeah what else when's my next race not till sometime in 2019 once i get the schedule and all that stuff figured out we'll see where that goes um what are the questions New Balance. What made me want to sign New Balance? I posted as the caption in one of the, um, in a video. But I took the video down. But I feel like I'll just go read it. Because I feel like that explained, in my opinion, from, like, the most part, like, what I was, okay. I was just trying to put this in here. It's not going to go. <laughs> but, um, let me read that. I feel like everyone has a different reason for what they do. I feel like mine was just, like, the best fit for me personally. I grew up running in New Balance, and, you know, they always took care of me throughout high school. Um, New Balance Nationals was my favorite time of year. Like, that's what you lived for if you ran track in high school. Uh, New Balance Nationals was just the most craziest lit meet where that backpack comes out and everybody's pressed over it and people who don't run track are trying to get that backpack. So... It's like, I feel like being able to connect with the kids in high school is like a big deal for me because I know what it's like to be in their shoes. So being able to get back there and, you know, hopefully see y'all and connect with y'all and answer questions and do whatever else is like, that was one of my, that was one of the biggest factors for me for deciding what I was going to do. Um, so the caption says, a lot of people say they can make you the next blank, but very few will help you be the first you. Either way, some things just never change. I pray this journey is not only a long one, but a great one. So, I don't know. For me, I've, I've always believed, like, truthfully and honestly, like, that I was put on this earth to run. Like, I just, it was fun. You know, growing up, it was fun. You know, my parents took me to track meets, and everyone else was trying to compete. But in reality, in reality like, the sport to me was just fun. Um, when I'm running track, no drama matters, no social media matters, no boy matters, no family issues matter. Like that is me doing what I love to do, period. And being able to do that professionally is not like being where I am right now for me is a blessing. Um, I've dreamt about this and I've prayed for this since I was six years old. So my mindset as of right now is yes, I made it here, but I have to work like I never got here. Um, so that's going to be the biggest thing for these next years coming up with Tokyo. Um, but what was I trying to say? I just like went off. What was I saying? Oh my gosh. This is, I always do this. I feel like this is one of my Snapchat rants right now. I, for, I totally forgot what I was trying to say. Oh, track. What about it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> wait um okay so i was talking about track and why i ran um competitively 
yeah, but, like, you know, like, everyone has their own issues that they face um, on and off the track, whether it's school, whether it's family, whether it's relationships, friendships, and, you know, just personal, personal issues mentally. When I go to practice or when I go to a race, you know, nothing else matters. Nothing else matters to me. So that's, it's, like, my biggest stress reliever. It also gives me the most stress, but it also takes the most stress away. Um, so it's, like, a healthy balance for me. But I, I feel like, yeah, I feel like this is something I was made to do, you know. Whether I make it to where I'm trying to go or not, or, you know, whether you get to the biggest stage and you make it or you don't make it, regardless, if I can teach somebody through my experiences, I feel like I've already won, period. Because I know what it's like to sit there and you're you're looking up to people and you're asking them questions, and you never get a response. Um, sometimes people are just busy. Sometimes, you know, they don't see it. They're not always aware. But I know what it's like to to be in front of people that you look up to and not get that response back in return. So if I could teach somebody or encourage somebody or influence somebody through what I've learned and what I go through every day, then we already won, shorty. Because no amount of money, no medals, no fame, no clout, no followers, none of that goes with you when you leave this earth, so. Period. That's my new word. Ah, oh, city girl threw me off. Period. But yeah. I totally just Snapchat ran it. <laughs> At one, what is it, one thirty? At one thirty in the morning. I'm so sorry, y'all. Ugh. And I turn the comments off because y'all be wilding with those. But yeah, what other, what other stuff is there? I really don't know, and I really shouldn't be up right now because I have a dentist appointment tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm gonna go. I hope that helps somebody. Um, y'all should go to sleep and have a great night.